In this video, we're gonna try three two ingredient keto friendly recipes. Sometimes we come across recipes that we think are too good to be true. So these three two ingredient keto recipes, we're excited to try them and test them for all of you. Did that rhyme? Kind of. Oh. The first recipe that we're excited to try is a two ingredient chocolate cake recipe by kimspireddiy.com. We will leave a link to this recipe in the description below. So we're gonna be doubling this recipe because I think this is a single serving and there's two of us. So I was on Pinterest and I saw this recipe and it really caught my eye because it looks like a super decadent chocolate cake. It almost looks like a pudding. It looks super moist. I know you're not supposed to say that word, but if you guys have another word to describe it, uh, let us know in the comment section below. We need more vocabulary, obviously. And it looks relatively simple, so we're excited to test this one out first. You're gonna need two ingredients, which are eggs and keto-friendly chocolate chips. So the first step is to separate your egg whites from your egg yolks, which is easier said than done. <laughs> Okay, so I whipped my eggs uh, until they formed soft peaks. It only took about a minute. And now I'm gonna melt our Lily's chocolate chips. This is four ounces of Lily's chocolate chips. I'm gonna melt it in like 60 second intervals because it can burn if you leave it in there for too long. So that only took about a minute. Mm -hmm. Now that our chocolate is fully melted, it's not like too hot, we're going to mix in our egg yolks into the chocolate using a whisk. Next, we're gonna fold our egg whites into our chocolate egg yolk mixture. I've been folding for what seems like an eternity and it seems to be as combined as it's gonna be. It's slightly chunky, but maybe that will turn into little pockets of chocolate. Anyway, next up we're gonna fill our lightly greased ramekins. One is obviously bigger than the other, so this is Sarah's and this is mine. You would. We're gonna stick this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious, tasty, electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element is perfectly formulated for someone following a ketogenic or low carb diet. Electrolytes play a super important role with how you feel when you're doing low carb or keto. When you go into ketosis for the first time, you shed a lot of water and inside that water are your electrolytes. This can leave you feeling nauseous, have fatigue, and have muscle cramps. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better and it is literally the best tasting electrolyte supplement we have ever tried and we've been talking about them for years, way before they started sponsoring videos on our channel. Our favorite flavors are citrus salt, raspberry salt, orange salt, but they do have a limited release flavor, grapefruit salt, that's absolutely Absolutely delicious. Right now, Element is offering our viewers a free sample pack with any order. That is eight single serving packets free with any order from Element. This is a great way to taste all eight flavors or share some Element with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you have to go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. Thanks so much to Element for sponsoring another video on our channel. Sponsors help keep our channel going, you guys. And thanks to you guys for supporting our sponsors. Ooh. Ooh. So here's our two ingredient keto chocolate cake. It's completely cooled down now. We're gonna give it a try. It looks very mo It looks very rich. Rich. It looks very indulgent. Indulgent. It looks moist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Mm. This really reminds me of the other two ingredient brownie that we made. That's pretty much ago. the same thing. That one had a little bit of a Nutella taste to it. This one is just pure chocolate. So I think this works out well. Mm. It's kind of like a souffle, if you think mm -hmm. of it. It's similar. Two ingredients, eggs and chocolate. Pretty good. I would top it maybe with some fresh whipped cream, some berries, just to make it a little bit more special. But overall, I'm really liking this dish. It tastes like a brownie to me. Yeah. So this next two ingredient recipe is one I'm really interested in trying. It's a two ingredient peanut butter cookie recipe by busylittlekitties.com. So the two ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe are peanut butter, all natural, no added sugar or added oil peanut butter, and one egg. There's no sweet component to this recipe, which I think is interesting. So 
Is it gonna be savory? I, I'm curious to find out. So the recipe is pretty straightforward. You're gonna put one cup of all natural peanut butter into a bowl. We have the creamy kind. And you're gonna crack one egg into it and then you're gonna mix it together. Mmm. Yummy. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't look thick to me. <laughs> Is this right? Help! I mean, what are you gonna do? You have to distribute it more. It's starting to thicken up. Just keep going. There. I'm having deja vu to when I broke your spatula. I mean, it's solid. <laughs> Oh my Lanta. Don't break my whisk. I only got one of those. I preheated our oven to 350 degrees. I mixed together the peanut butter and the egg and it looked quite suspect for a while. And then all of a sudden it just came together. So now I'm going to be making 12 balls. This recipe should make 12 small cookies. Emily, this does not look like 12. Mind your own business. We started off small, and then we got bigger and bigger. Um, the story of my life. <laughs> and so we have nine. So basically we're about 25% off. Next up, we're going to um, smash these cookies down. Use the back of a fork to press down on each cookie to form a cross on top, okay? Here we go. This is the artistic part. Mm. <laughs> and release. Release the Kraken. Uh, okay, hmm. I think I did it wrong. There. Yeah. Maybe Wait. just do one and then yeah. do the other. Yeah. There. Dang it! I lift up and. Why? Tell me why. <laughs> hmm. Why is There's this only one smaller than the other? Household. I know that you're a Backstreet Boys fan. I am not. Yeah, you were. You were definitely. No, a I was. Yes, you, you were a Backstreet Boys. Are fan. Are you joking me? I was never a Backstreet yes, Boys fan. Yes, you were. I was in sync forever. In sync always. That's such a lot. I'm gonna ask mom. That's it. We're gonna put these in the oven for 15 minutes. They look straight from the factory. Actually, they kind of look like pumpkin cookies to me. Okay, so our timer's gone off. Let's see how they look. So it did say in the instructions that these are very fragile when you take them out of the oven, so they have to cool down completely before we try them. Here they are. I like your artistry Thank on you. the top. So as you'll see here, there's six cookies here. Um, the recipe called for 12. Sarah broke some in transit. They did. Yeah. Um, the creator of this recipe did say that they are very fragile. However, we did not anticipate how fragile they were. And so these are the survivors. <laughs> and I'm excited to try one. They look really good. They are very delicate. So be careful of that. Maybe if we left them longer to I dry so. out, it would be even better. But this one's about to, up. Oh, it collapsed. I think you really do need to leave them a little bit longer so that they like solidify. We gave them, you know, 30 minutes to rest, but it's probably not long enough. So. <laughs> Would work great as cookie crumbles mm. on uh, your favorite keto friendly ice cream. Mm. I wonder if you could use this as a crust. It can't even hold itself together now. You think you're gonna turn this into a crust? Maybe. I like it. It's really crumbly. Which is a texture you don't find that often on keto, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's got no sweetness in it, but I'm almost appreciating it for just being the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like it. Maybe I'm not picky. I don't know. How often do I hate things? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're not picky. <laughs> There's only one food I hate, artichokes. And even then I'll eat it, but I won't like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just had one bad artichoke dip and it was enough to ruin it for 20 me. 20 years ago. Yeah, it was 20 years ago, but it still remember, I still remember it. They're very crumbly <laughs> like that. See that, okay, so that would be the only negative of this recipe is that they are too crumbly, but uh, maybe if you left them in the refrigerator or let them to dry out, 
for like for hours, it you might have better results. So I would definitely recommend that. Next up, we have another two ingredient recipe that is perfect for breakfast. So the next two ingredient recipe are for keto friendly pancakes. And we've seen a bunch of people actually try this recipe before. So we're excited to give it a try. We're gonna go with the recipe by Bare Feet in the Kitchen. We will leave a link to this recipe in the description below. It's very simple. All you're gonna need is cream cheese and eggs. So these pancakes look pretty legit. They kind of remind me of like a Swedish pancake. I'm not sure if you've ever had one of those before, but they're a little on the thinner side than your normal fluffy pancake. All right, so let's get started. So what you're gonna need is four ounces of cream cheese and four eggs. You could also add additional ingredients that would make it not two ingredients like vanilla or cinnamon. We're just gonna keep it at the standard recipe of those two ingredients. Okay. So here we have our eggs and our cream cheese. Pretty much you're gonna go like every ounce of cream cheese, you're gonna add an egg for it. Now we're just going to simply blend this and uh, see how it turns out. So that was done really quickly. We only blended it for about 30 or 40 seconds. And now we're gonna leave it to rest because we want the air bubbles to come out and uh, for the batter to settle a little bit before we get on to cooking them. So here we have our batter that's been resting for about five minutes. We have a pan that's currently heating up and we're going to be adding in a little bit of butter to act as our butter. To the that's pan. three ingredients. It is three ingredients, but the actual batter is two. So <laughs> there you go. Shamara butter. So we're gonna aim for a three inch diameter or radius or not circumference. I think diameter, right. three inches in diameter. Our math teachers are rolling around in their graves. Hmm. I don't know if you can get diameter on a shape like that. It's a dinosaur. It's oblong. There. Dude, your pancakes look whack. Oh three my inch, gosh. there you go. Just not three inch this way. Well, yeah. yeah, I think the measuring tape is a bit much because look at the shape of them. I think that they're gonna get- They're all dilapidated. I think they're gonna get better as we move on. So let the first couple be just an experiment. I wasn't ready for the consistency. I wasn't ready for the, the thickness of the batter. So um, these are gonna be testers. They're gonna go at the bottom of the plate. Exactly, they're gonna be covered. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a pancake. Look at that. <laughs> it's a rhombus. Okay. Amazing. It kind of works. It looks like a jellyfish. Who cares what it looks like? It's a pancake and we hope that it tastes like a pancake. That's, that's all. That tends to be the theme on our channel though, isn't it? So I'm gonna continue on making my pancakes and then uh, we're gonna try them. Bone appetit. Well, they don't look too much like pancakes, but hopefully they taste like them. Mm. You have a little bit of butter and a little bit of Lakanto maple syrup on top. Sarah and I really like that product, by the way. It's probably a lot thinner than your average maple syrup, though, yeah. but it's got that nice maple flavor. So, bon appetit. You know, I'm surprised that they don't really taste like eggs. I thought these pancakes would taste like eggs. Do you think they taste like eggs? Mm hmm Oh, see, to me, I feel like the butter and the maple syrup make it taste like a pancake. If you just eat it without butter or maple syrup, it tastes like eggs to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, I feel like you could, like I said, put some mixed berries in there, some cream, and make some crepes mm -hmm. out of this. That would yeah. be really delicious. It's a very neutral tasting pancake. Now you serve this with a side of bacon, side mm -hmm. of sausage. I think it would taste just like it. But there's a lot of protein in this. You know, it's just eggs and cream cheese, so it's really simple to make. Make up a batch of these on a Saturday morning. I'll probably be doing this again in the future. Your shapes are... Out of this world. Who cares what they look like? They're going in your stomach anyway. Emily's also looked like that because after we stopped filming for this, this segment, Emily was like, let me try. Her first one came out good, and everyone after that looked exactly got like a mine. lot worse, yeah. <laughs> so we really liked all three of these recipes. If you guys see any out there on the internet that you want us to try, tag us at Keto Twins Official on Instagram, or tag us at Keto Twins on TikTok, or leave a comment below. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And we're, and we're the, the Keto, Keto Twins, Twins signing out. out.